Oh, I don't have a... I, I don't have a... This is dangerous. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, Lord, that was close. Oh, this is always intense and nerve-wracking. Guys, I'm playing for the first time in days. Oh, God, the Hound is here. Where's the spear? Oh, what a way to start an episode, guys. The Hound is here. It's attacking our friend. What was his name? Nabisco. Oh, he's getting chased. Okay, get in there and help out. Lord, this is the thing I'm talking about. This is the dangers of taking days off. When I jump back in, I'm not sure exactly where I am. Let's dry this monster meat. Yes, that didn't take long. We're getting to try out the drying rack. Awesome. And this guy's our pal. Cool. Food is our biggest worry. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. Back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. This, I believe, is what? Episode 8? Something like that? Uh, in the last one, we got set up, but we picked an island that has really limited food. Uh, we've got a farm started, and I've got a bunch of petals on the ground and bananas that hopefully will rot and we'll be able to use as fertilizer. Maybe if we keep feeding our pal, uh, what was your name again? Uh, Basil Basiliscus. Uh, maybe we will, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get enough to actually get a farm going. What I think we need is to leave this island and go get some more food and supplies. Where's our raft? Way the hell up there. What do I have in my inventory now? Anything raft worthy? No, I need some grass, and besides, it's getting late. Crap. I'm gonna have to go for our... Shoot. Yeah, we're in a bit of a rough situation, I think. It's like that were-beaver transformation, we barely recovered from it. We've got these berry bushes, uh, but we need more. We need more options for food. Drying this meat, at least. This is like watching meat dry, agreed. <laughs> um... I guess I can pick all this up. Maybe we'll be able to make some, like, log walls. Oh, man. Hey, more poop. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Uh, we, we will use this poop to fertilize our burgeoning grass farm. Because grass is another thing that we're not going to have enough of on this crap island that I've decided to set up on. Uh, we transformed a were-beaver, and we smashed all this stuff. We dug it all up. We... Oh, I don't have a... I, I don't have a... This is dangerous. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, Lord, that was close. So close. Where's my fire pit? Way up here. Let's, let's stoke this fire, man. Yeah, no, I'm not messing around with this anymore. Oh, wow, what danger. What? This is not going to be easy at all. Okay, in the morning, we will set off for our raft, which is up here. There are a bunch of great things in that chest up there. Do I have a hammer? No. Why don't we drop some stuff? And I'll make a hammer. I can't. Because I need grass. Right. Um, then we wait. I guess. Uh, I need a better backpack. Oh, I can't. I gotta keep this log suit on. For safety. Really, like, uh... I don't want to die suddenly, and I'd rather carry less things and be more protected. That was some of your advice, guys. Make some, make some log suit, make some defense. Uh, there's a pick. Huh, okay. We're starving to death, and starving to death quickly. So, Basiliscus, oh god, the sanity's dipping too. Uh, Basco, whatever your name is, you're going to be sticking around on this island while I head for my raft. And hopefully try and make way to a... You know, we'll just grab some seaweed, maybe. I think mean, that's probably the smart bet. But we do need grass. So if maybe if we can set out, maybe we can find more berry bushes. Maybe we can find more grass. But uh, I think to feed ourselves, we got to probably go head out and grab some seaweed. I think that's probably an immediate goal. Seaweed is good for your body, good for your, uh, good for your, your hunger. Guys, I get so tense playing this game. I just know, I know how bad a death is. A death sets you back, and any death coming up at this point, now that we're coming up to like, you know, eight, nine episodes deep, 
Any death might just end this series. I might get sick of dying. I don't want to keep showing you guys the early game, the beginnings of the game. I'd love to get deeper. And if I can't, if I'm struggling too much, if I keep dying at the the 7-8 day mark, then, um, then I'm going to end the series. And dying at that mark is so likely when I haven't played in 2-3 days and I hop back on to play again. Uh, but I do appreciate the advice. I got a lot two episodes ago. I don't think I got a whole lot last episode, but that's okay. Leave it in my hands. I'm the professional Let's Player. I'm the guy who plays video games uh, on his channel, and you watch. I'll be the one who do who figures out how to play the game. You don't have to do that for me. It would be nice if you would, but uh, if you leave it in my hands, hopefully I will manage to get improve my skill level, get better at this thing. This, by the way, is a short-term fix. I was hoping to save this seaweed until the weather got really bad, until things got windy and, you know. Oh, what are you? Are you new? You are so new. Amazing. Okay. That is a mandrake. Yeah, I don't really know all about those. But what I do know... Oh, is that I don't have any room in my inventory? Why did, I, why did I bring snake oil and gold over to this island? I don't understand. We'll have to come back for that. Good. So, what do we have here? Uh, I'm going to need to start a fire or die of hunger, right? And I need more grass to start a fire. Oh, and I once again forgot to start re timing recording this episode. What a doofus. I never remember to time it. It's okay. I think we're eight minutes in. We might only be seven minutes in. There we go. This seaweed should... Oh, eat it fast, dude. Eat it fast. <laughs> Bringing us back from the brink here. The brink of death and destruction. And you know what, though? That's that cheery, jaunty, seafaring music that puts a, puts a smile on your face and a kick in your step. When I'm listening to this particular tune in the game, I can't be too worried about my survival. It's like, if this song is playing, you got nothing to worry about. Life is good. There's another mandrake. Can those stack? I think I can use those once I get a crockpot going, which we're... I think we're close to getting that crockpot going back at the old base. Uh, and I guess we're gonna have to pick these, too. You know what? We found food and we found grass. This island is about as perfect a situation as we could have come across, except for that little bugger, that little monkey SOB. I'm gonna collect grass until I'm so sick of collecting grass. Okay, this is a big island. This is this is uh, not a single biome island. We got jungle, maybe even double jungle going on on this island. You little freak, leave me alone, you freak. Hey, that's my sweet. Did I get it? I think I got it. Stupid monkey. Go F yourself, you idiot. Yes, they're grabbing all my sweet potatoes. See, this is why you don't leave them for winter. You get these freak monkeys messing up your business. Oh, and there's beach here, too. Huh. This might be a decent place to set up a home if I hadn't already chosen one. Uh... Oh god, that sanity is in rough shape. I thought we were better off for sanity. Uh, let's go cook the food we've got. We'll eat it. Uh, and then we will maybe pick some flowers and try and get this sanity going again. Did I... Did I started a fire on this island, didn't I? Somewhere around here. I thought I did. Oh, it's burnt up. I see. Burnt up and you're stealing my ashes. Rubbing it in my face, you jerk-off monkey bastard. Uh, I'm keeping the log suit on. I'm keeping the armor on. Here, we'll start a damn fire here. Maybe right here. We'll cook what we've got on us. I'd love to save some of this stuff for a crock pot. Crock pots need three, four, five different ingredients. Three, four different ingredients. Um, but I don't think we have that kind of freedom. We need to get ourselves nursed right back to health. And sweet potatoes look like the way to do it. Okay. Health and hunger are in in order. Picking a few flowers and we'll be sane again. Life will be good. As 
it's almost bedtime. Dang it. These these night sections. Look at there's a lot of mother effing monkeys up in this island. This island. I cannot wait to leave now. Monkeys are like the bane of my existence. It's like as soon as your inventory gets slightly full, you got a problem. Uh, although I've got an idea. If I can, yeah, I th see if we can make a monkey friend. Right? Um, let's make a new one of these. Equip it. And then the old one, just give it to this monkey. There you go, you got a hat now, you little goof. Uh, we should get back to my fire. Uh, I can see about making a trap or something. Giving us another way to collect food. Uh, trap. How do you do? There you go. Crab den. Oh, let's put a little... Let's stoke this fire up. Can always pull out Lucy and chop down more wood. That is one thing that we will never be short of. Hey! You just st He stole my whole trap. This island is garbage. We are leaving. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. I should just kill these fools in their sleep. Trap stealing monkey bastards. Cook this. For food. Okay. Good. We're back. We're back to health. I guess I can cook the mandrakes. I think weird things happen with them. I can't really remember. Oh! Yeah. I passed out from cooking it. God knows what'll happen when I eat it. Oh, man. I just like... Oh, I s did I sleep the night? Is that what happened? Alright. Somewhere around here is my raft. Right? Somewhere way up there. Okay, that's fine. We've got we got a ton of grass out of this deal, did we? I got 12. I should probably collect some more. I just want to have plenty to make rope to make supplies until we get that farm going. And I should probably find a way to collect a little more food before we head back to base. I think that's what this episode is. This episode's a voyage into another place, collecting some resources and hopefully avoiding a full-on, full-scale war with monkeys. Because if they steal one thing from me, I'm taking a swing, I'm hitting a monkey, they're throwing poop at me, and we got a full-on combat. They're just, look it, they just follow you around and annoy the hell out of you. Watch, I got no room in my inventory for flowers, right? Watch me pick this up. They just, they converge on it and steal that, steal it. They're so obnoxious. I mean, if you could make one as a friend, oh, get away from my snake oil. I gotta find a way to pick my snake oil back up before a monkey does. Hey! Oh, you... Uh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. Okay, let's hop on our boat and we'll leave these stupid prime apes behind. We'll see you next time, fools. I'm gonna collect a little more of this. And we... It's early in the day. We don't need to head home yet. Although, this is the beginning of the this, this stormy season. Look how high these waves are getting. Those are not waves to be trifled with. Those will smash this crap boat apart so fast. And I mean, trying to collect this, trying to collect these resources out here in the stormy weather's danger. Those big waves can spring up out of nowhere and just crush you. Smash you right into you. I think, guys, this episode will probably end when I make it home, when I make it back to base. But I thought we'd circle around this island uh, that we just went around, see if we missed anything good. You know, you never know, there could be treasure on an island like this. And see if we can collect a little bit more. How did you get in here? My dog just got in here. I thought my door was closed. I always close my door when I'm streaming or uh, recording. Uh, if you guys do suddenly hear a lot more background noise, don't stress it. It's just my wood stove, my pellet stove. Keeps me warm in the old country house I live in. Okay, we got more gold, more rocks on this little island, along with spiders, which is interesting. And I don't think we're finding a whole lot more sea fe seaweed. Lucy, I love her, but she can't shut up sometimes. Chop, 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 hee <laughs> hee. I seem to be sinking, he says. That's fine, we're gonna make it back, Woody. You and your ginger beard and your wiry orange hair are gonna make it safely back. Oh, mangrove swamp. Cool, this is a five biome island, isn't it? We got five biomes here? Yes, we do. That's pretty, that's pretty boss. 
I'm really curious what happens when I eat that roasted mandrake. Oh, berry bush. Another berry bush. Uh, if I can clear a little inventory space. You picking my berries, you stupid monkey. What happens when I eat this? Oh. Oh! That. Shoot. Shoot, and on a monkey island too. We're gonna have to kill all these monkeys. They're gonna steal everything. They're gonna steal everything I own. That you're dead. That one's dead. That, okay, we're, this might be the end of the series. Lord, uh, guys, these monkeys are gonna steal everything I own. I'm gonna have to guard it with my life. I'm gonna have to kill monkeys with just total, get smashed, you snake bastard. I don't know if my health can manage this. They're hucking poop at me. They're trying to steal my things. Did eating the mandrake turn me into that? Get off my stuff, you stupid monkeys. They're eating everything. They're eating the monkey morsels. There's so many, I'm never going to be able to kill them all, am I? Am I going to be able to kill all these monkeys before I die? Guys, I might make this a shorter episode and call it right here. I'm going to have to survive an onslaught of monkey fecal matter just to get my stuff back. Oh, what a nightmare this is. And I'm going to transform. It could be the middle of the night. Who knows? I just keep killing monkeys. We're on a monkey rampage. Geeks, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Uh, in the next one, I will try and slaughter all of these monkeys. Get back all my stuff. Get destroyed, Prime A Putt. I'll destroy ya. There you go. Just smash all their houses, smash them. Thank you so much for tuning in, geeks. And when you come back in two days, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna be smashing monkey huts, getting bombarded with poop, and trying to protect my stuff that these damn frickin' prime apes are- Hey! Get smashed. I'ma die. I think I'm probably gonna die from this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Slight amendment to that. This is sadly actually going to be the last episode in this Woody run, and I will decide in the very near future whether to continue uh, playing this game. If we do, we'll play as Wilani, the surfer chick. But um, a funny thing happens here, guys. I continued playing because I figured I can't just stop in the middle of this chaos. I'll record the next episode, too. So right now I'd be saying something like, what's going on, geeks? Unite the clans here. Back in your life. Blah, 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 blah. And I decide to keep chasing them off and try and let this log meter run out. And somewhere around here, yes, right there, it does. And as I was about to transform back into Woody, I would have come back on a hostile island with none of my stuff, a bunch of monkeys throwing poop at me. I probably would have died. But right at that moment, as I'm transforming, a monkey hit me with poop. And apparently there's a glitch in this game where if that happens, you stay a werebeaver. Forever. And that's what happens. I keep playing for a good three, four minutes going, when the hell am I going to transform? When am I going to stop being a werebeaver and be a ginger lumberjack again? And guess what? It never happens. And the only way to fix it is with console commands. Now, I'm confident I probably would have died had I transformed back into Woody anyway. So if you do see another run, it'll be justified. I probably would have not been able to recover from this. I don't know if I know Woody well enough. I don't know if I can handle his curse, if I can do this, play it as him. But we're gonna, if we do go again, and I think we will go again, we'll go as Wolani and we'll try and make a better run. 10 days and beaten by a glitch. Who knows if we would have survived, but guys, you can see that log meter's at zero. The music has stopped and I am still Woody. So sadly, this is gonna end the Woody run without an official death, because I stuck a were beaver for all eternity. Thank you so much for watching this run and the series up till now. I hope I am back with you with another run, another long run of episodes in the very near future. And uh, appreciate it, geeks. We'll see you in the next one. And, uh, and usually the operator's got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through okay. it. All right, in order to get started, oh. you're going to want to press the number four. <laughs> That sound that I might have told you to ignore, yes, that... it turns out that it, it, that's a very bad alarm. So okay. I'm going to need you to just do a 180 right down the stairs, please, right down. Probably, I'd probably go a bit further. Move. Okay. You really, you really want to move right now. All right. Sorry to know about the alarm. But what is this? I can't go past good. this. Good. When did that Great. pipe? Ex oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back. Come on.